dear learners in this video you will get the basic idea about spectroscopy under the topic fundamentals of spectroscopy so to study or we can say before study about any spectroscopic technique we should know the basic fundamentals the basic terminologies as well the concept of spectroscopy so in this lecture you will get a basic idea about type of spectroscopy types of spectra as well as type types of molecular energy so first of all we will see the definitions so we should know what is the difference between spectroscopy spectrometry as well as spectrophotometry so what is spectroscopy so spectroscopy is the study of interaction of electromagnetic radiation it's a emr electromagnetic radiation we can say radiant energy the matter its molecules atoms or ions so it is the study we can say the interaction of electromagnetic radiation with molecules atoms molecules or atoms this spectroscopy is divided into two types either it can be a molecular spectroscopy or atomic spectroscopy now the next is a spectrometry means it is a quantitative measurement of the intensity of one or more wavelength of radiant energy and what is spectrophotometry so this is also a quantitative measurement it is a use of electromagnetic radiation to measure the chemical concentrations basically we can say in terms of absorbance so we have to measure the absorbance and we can find the concentration of any solution by different spectroscopic techniques that we will see later for any type of techniques so here you can see electromagnetic radiation we can say the wave okay, so this emr have two properties so this emr have two properties particle property and wave property now see uh, this is known as amplitude this distance this is known as amplitude and this is known as node and the distance between this two two consecutive you can say the peaks is known as the wavelength so here it is denoted by lambda it's a wavelength it's a lambda 1 here the same this is a peak this is known as a peak here we can see v1 means a frequency it's a four cycles per second because there is a four cycle here there is a eight cycle so v2 is equal to eight cycle per second and this is known as trough this is known as trough and this is known as peak and this is a r lambda 3 so it's a one second okay this is a cycle per second means here there is a 16 cycles per second here there is a eight cycles per second this is a interaction you can say this is a emr now this is a i think this is very clear from this picture what is peak what is trough what is a wavelength now we will see the classification of spectroscopy so basically as i said when there is a interaction of emr with atom it is known as atomic spectroscopy and when there is a interaction of emr with molecule it is known as molecular spectroscopy so here first we will see atomic spectroscopy so what is atomic spectroscopy so as i said interaction of emr with atoms which are most commonly in their lowest energy state that is called ground state so whatever atoms are present in a ground state that will be interact with the electromagnetic radiation and that is known as the atomic spectroscopy so the absorption will occur it and it is known as electronic absorption 
So absorption of EMR can only occur if one photon. Now when there will be absorption. So in any kind of spectroscopy, okay, in any kind of absorption spectroscopy, there will be a absorption of EMR. So it will occur only when, when the photon has the energy which is equal to the energy difference between two quantized energy levels. In the same way, what is molecular spectroscopy? So there is a interaction of EMR with molecules. Uh, this results in transitions between rotational and vibrational energy levels. We can say we can say electronic transitions. Now we will see the types of spectra. Every type of spectroscopy is clear with the type of spectra. You can say uh, this is a type of spectroscopy also which you are going to study later. Now first is a rotational spectra. First is a rotational spectra. So the spectra arise due to the transition between rotational energy level. So when there is a rotational spectra, we can say the type of, of spectroscopy is rotational spectroscopy and the energy involved here is the rotational energy. So say for example a gaseous molecule, generally it is occur in a gaseous molecule on the absorption of radiation it will fall in the microwave region and this spectra okay, is shown by the molecules which possess a permanent dipole moment. We can say there should be a difference in electronegativity of two atoms of molecule like HCl. So it will produce a dipole moment which will be permanent. Then carbon monoxide as well we can say H2O. Diatomic molecule do not show this spectra. We can say microwave or rotational spectra. It's for say for example H2, N2, O2 this kind of molecule will not show this rotational spectra. H2, O2, N2. Okay, so this is a rotational spectra. Now the next is vibrational spectra or we can say the IR spectra. So this spectra arise due to transition induced between the vibrational energy level of molecule. When there is a transition in a vibrational energy level, we can say the spectra arise, it's a IR spectra, it's an infrared spectra. So, this is the range of infrared spectra, it's a fall in the range of 4000 to 600 centimeter inverse. Now, the next we will see Raman spectra. So, here also the change in a vibrational and rotational transition is there. So, Raman spectra is related to change in a vibrational and rotational transition in molecule but in a different manner from IR. So, here we measure the scattering not absorption of molecule. Here in a vibrational spectra in IR spectra we can measure transmission percentage transmission as well as absorption but here there will be a scattering of molecule. This is the difference between IR and Raman. Then we can say electronic spectra means it is arising due to electronic transitions in a molecule by absorption of radiation falling in the visible and UV region. So here because of electronic transition we are getting UV and visible spectra. Then NMR spectra means nuclear magnetic resonance spectra okay so here we can say the type of energy it's electronic transition it's electronic energy the spectra is a uv spectra and spectroscopy we can say it's a uv spectroscopy now nmr spectra means nmr spectroscopy so nuclear magnetic resonance arise due to transitions induced between electron spin energy level of molecule in an applied magnetic field 
we will see later the NMR spectroscopy in details in my upcoming video. At that time, it will be very clear in detail. This is just an introduction part. Then electron spin resonance. It's a ESR. There is a difference between NMR and ESR. So here the spectra results from transitions induced between the electron spin energy level of molecule in an applied magnetic field. There is a difference that will clear in the upcoming lectures. Now we will see the wave properties of electromagnetic radiation. So as I said it having a two properties particle and wave property. So what is wavelength as we have seen earlier it is a distance for a wave to go through complete cycle means it's a distance between two consecutive peaks or trough in a wave as we have seen earlier. Then next is a V it's a frequency so number of waves or we can say cycles passing a given point and a wave number means number of waves per centimeter in a vacuum. So this is the difference between wavelength frequency and wave number. Generally UV is measured UV region is follow the wavelength and IR region follow in a wave number. There is a inverse relationship between wavelength and frequency. So this is a wavelength. Wavelength is inversely proportional to frequency means 1 by V. So if we want to remove the proportionality constant we can write this as a C is equal to this lambda into V here the lambda is a wavelength V means frequency and C means the speed of light which is constant. Now we will see the particles properties of EMR. Now we will see the particle property of EMR. So energy of photon is directly proportional to the frequency of radiation. If we are talking about one photon energy of one photon is equal to HV and V is equal to C by lambda. So we can write this HV is equal to HC by lambda is equal to HC V bar means a wave number. So H is equal to Planck's constant. Here this is the value is given it which is constant. V means frequency lambda means wavelength. So E is proportional to V. That's why this is E is equal to HV. E is inversely proportional to lambda. Obviously because frequency is equal to C by lambda. Now see uh, this is the electromagnetic radiation. We can see here the radiation the type of waves. So this is the range of frequency. Here uh, in this region we can go for increasing wavelength and here like this way we are we are going from increasing frequency. So we can see here in a nanometer range for wavelength. So it is fall under this first there is a gamma rays starting from 10 raised to minus 16 to 10 raised to minus 12. Then there will be a X rays then UV then visible here you can see it's a visible spectrum it's over visible spectrum having a range of wavelength is a 400 to generally 800 nanometer and UV having a 200 to 400 nanometer then there is a IR radiation then microwave then radio waves and long radio wave so here there are a different type of transitions is given here the different type of transitions is given as per the rays so for gamma rays there will be a nuclear transition for x rays the core lever electron will be excited for uv the excitation of valence electron will occur and we will get a spectra for visible also the same for infrared there will be a molecular vibrations as a for transition for for microwave there is a electron spin and rotations radio wave also there is a 
प्रिंसिपल बिहाइंड सम चेंज इन अ इलेक्ट्रॉन स्पीड फोर टाइप ऑफ एनर्जी ट्रांसलेशनल एनर्जी रोटेशनल एनर्जी वाइब्रेशनल एनर्जी एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक एनर्जी सो फॉर एवरी स्पेक्ट्रा एंड स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी फ्रॉम दिस फोर एनी वन एनर्जी इज बेसिकली इन्वॉल्व सो वॉट इज ट्रांसलेशनल एनर्जी सो हियर वी कैन से इट्स अ यूनिफॉर्म मोशन ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल मीन्स अ सेंटर ऑफ मास ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल Here motion means center of mass of molecule, and it is denoted by E T. Means the translational energy. So one half m v square, m into v square. It's a uniform motion. Now what is rotational energy? So overall atom, of, overall atom of molecule with atoms consider as a fixed point mass here in a rotational energy. So this is the difference. Now what is the difference? See here, what is the difference between vibrational and rotational energy? So here, oscillation of atoms, which are considered as a point masses, about equilibrium positions, and the next is a electronic energy, so motion of electron, while considering the nuclei of atom. So the involvement of some energy, okay, and there will be some changes, and we will getting the spectra. so this is all about just a basic idea about spectroscopy in the next upcoming lecture we will see spectroscopic techniques in detail thank you dear learners for watching the video keep learning